The great YouTube crisis of 2012 was a turning point in internet history. A saga which overtook every YouTuber, creator, commenter, vlogger, video maker, liker, disliker, hater, fuck it, just everyone. Everyone was involved, alright? Everyone. It began November 9th, 2012, where Charlie McDonald released a video titled, I'm Scared. In this video, he stated he was scared he would one day throw a Benjamin Button and end up reverse aging and become too young to YouTube again, thus losing his London house. This led to Michael Aranda, a man who lived in the United States of Canada, to release a video uh, saying that he was actually scared of the complete opposite, that he would continue aging at the same rate till one day he was too old to continue to live in his human form. This was all encapsulated by other top YouTubers throwing their bloody oar in about how age is just a number, a phrase you want to be really careful throwing about. Benjamin Cook, who had bright red hair, then took it upon himself to release a six-part series about how everyone is a certain age, but ages vary all over the world. In the first part, Dan and Phil of YouTube and BBC Radio 2's Weather Report fame assaulted Benjamin Cook due to his nonchalance on the ageing crisis. Carrie Fletcher of Carrie Fletcher fame uh, never stopped smiling. Reports indicate she actually didn't age uh, and wanted everyone to call her Edward Cullen, but it never caught on, despite the amount of glitter she kept chucking all over herself. Keep going, love. The great YouTube ageing crisis led uh, Little Raj, or Liam Dryer Washer Combi, to lead an all-out assault on England, stating, They have had enough of us. Fuck off. This entire debacle had Chris Kendall in an absolute state, terrified that one day he may become middle-aged. Some reports say it was his midlife crisis, other reports say it was not his midlife crisis. He took it upon himself to quit ageing by firing Alex Day from YouTube in a video entitled Kicking YouTube. This video gained huge notoriety across YouTube, leading PJ Ligori to rename his channel to Don't kick the PJ. After several complaints to Ofcom, however, the name was reverted to original and the change stricken from the record books. You'll never find that it happened. That's the thing you'll never find that happened. To combat the crisis, Chameleon Circuit with their new frontman Dane Bowers released their new studio album entitled Who the Fuck is Dane Bowers, uh, which led to the creation of Bowers Fest. After the hugely successful YouTube gathering, Bowers gave an Aragorn-esque speech in which he revealed that he had the secret to anti-aging. Never again would YouTubers have to worry about aging, losing their dashing good looks, and subsequently, their fangirls. The secret, Bowers stated, was subscribing to Mantis Core 2, liking this video, leaving a comment, telling me how much you love this video, or subsequently, how little you enjoy this video. I don't know. I've got to go to university. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Bye.